So I've got a haul truck. Now I need a way of loading the haul truck. So next I'm going to print out a 114 scale CAT 950. Uh, you'll see the, the description doesn't say CAT 950, it says Kitten M905. I believe he does that for trademark purposes. So Kitten obviously for CAT, instead of a 950, it's a 905. Um, so I actually started this wanting to buy a all metal hydraulic payloader. And so I started putting some money aside to uh, buy a payloader and then I really came across these models and I thought, forget it, I'm gonna build my own. Um, so I bought, built a pay built the haul truck and now I'm building the payloader. So now what I need to do is I need to download the files and I need to start printing. All right, there are all of our parts. Now that was pretty quick, but that was actually a combination of a culmination of about, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred hours of printing. So uh, I decided this time, instead of printing, sanding, painting, assembling, um, I would just kind of go through and let you guys see the process a little bit. Uh, this isn't going to be a full build tutorial. He actually has full build tutorials on each one of the um, uh, payloaders or each one of his models. And so I will. Uh, Link that in the description, his build videos for each of these, the articulating dump truck and the payloader. But I kind of want to just go through some of the parts here. Like this is the, the cab. Uh, here's the interior piece. Uh, I've done some prep work to all this, but it's not been painted yet. And so everything just fits together perfect. Um, I also printed out uh, some fork, a fork attachment for the front of the payloader. And so I've got to assemble all that. Uh, printed a bucket attachment. He has um, multi-function buckets, you know, like clamshell buckets. He has fork attachments. Uh, he also made a quick disconnect to be able to change between attachments. Uh, and you buy the one file and you get all these pieces. Um, again, everything here was printed on an Ender 3 V2. Actually, instead of tying up all three of my printers, I just set one dedicated for this. Well, I set one doing the gray, one doing the black, but then one printer uh, doing all the white and the white took the, certainly the longest the only really detail work i'm going to do is probably to this hood uh, you can certainly see the layer lines in there as you come across so i'll sand this down a little bit i won't go nuts on it but then i'll prime it sand it i'll probably put about two coats of primer on this sanding them uh, before i painted the cat yellow uh, and this will probably be about the only piece that i put any significant work in sanding to get smooth because it has the, the largest lines um, because uh, I might sp spend a little time on the main arms that lift the, the bucket. I clean them up a little bit so you don't have any major uh, visible layer lines. But So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start prepping these things. Um, generally speaking, the prepping is pretty easy. Let me grab one file here that's not prepped yet. Um, so i got supports to remove. Uh, so one thing cool that does is he basically connects all of his parts with these little feet. And these little feet, so like if you had a long bed like this, it's got these feet on there. And what I found is those little feet do a really good job for bed adhesion. It's like, so if this is a long print that might get close to the edge of your bed, and it might start warping and pulling up as it's heating. But that extra little foot on there is just a larger surface area that will help attach that. And so I re when I first saw these, I was like, oh man, that's going to be annoying to clean up. Um, but then come to find, uh, it really helps with your bed adhesion and you get really nice clean looking parts and he just again does a fabulous job and all the detail work on everything uh, you do got to print it with supports um, the articulating dump truck i printed most of the parts with 100 percent infill and i know yes guys will say you don't need to print 100 100 infill it's not stronger than say a less infill and you're absolutely right 100 percent is kind of an overkill but i wanted the weight i wanted just these things to feel heavy um, this model, I ultimately brought the infill down to about 60%. Um, I didn't notice a huge difference between the weight of it. These pieces are still very solid and stout. Um, it just sped my time up a little bit, saved a little bit of filament there. Uh, you can print this with like, you know, your 10, 15, 20% infill, uh, but your model is going to be that much lighter. 
Um, I know I'm not going for strength on printing a heavier infill, I'm just going for weight. Uh, I want this thing to feel heavy. Um, one of my friends has, has introduced me to these models. I picked up one of his ones and was like, wow, what did you print this out of? Thinking it was like a carbon fiber or a metal infused or something like that. And nope, just regular PLA or PLA plus, but a really high infill, which gives you that weight. Uh, it will slow your prints down. They'll kind of take forever to print, but you're going to get a piece that's very solid. Like this, when you click it, you don't hear that hollow sound. It's it's a you know it's it's a solid chunk of plastic. So uh, it was kind of a bit of an overkill, but hey, it's uh you're probably going to spend an extra twenty or forty bucks in the uh, in the filament, but in the long run, I think I'm going to be happy with it. Uh, like even this, look at like little doors and details, like just his accent pieces in the files are just really cool. Um, again, just phenomenal files. And so I'm going to start, I'm going to go through and prime all this. I'm going to paint it and then I'll kind of step through on the assembly process. So starting the assembly of the CAT 950, I uh, thought I had everything printed. When I started laying everything out, I realized there was a few pieces I hadn't got printed. So Ender 3s are running right now, getting those finished up. Uh, like I said, this is not going to be a build video. Uh, if you want to watch the build video, let, the link will be in the description. But I'm just going to kind of put this together and show you what I find with this thing.